Hey gearheads and welcome to Grouse Talk. I'm Corey and that, well, that is the death of an icon. That is the 2024 final model year Chevrolet Camaro. This is the ZL1 version. I'm at the 2023 North America International Auto Show in Detroit. In this video, I'm gonna take you on a somber tour of the last to all of the Chevy Camaro. All right, gearheads, if you have followed this channel for any length of time, you know the Camaro holds a very special place in my heart. The Camaro was the first vehicle that got me into cars in the first place and was a, an aspiration of mine until I bought my brand new 2012 45th anniversary SS. Fortunately, I only had that one for one year, but now I'm really wishing I had it back because for 2024, this is it. The Camaro is going away for the second time in its over 50 year production run and Chevy is sending it off uh, in a special way. So what I will do is go ahead and take you on a tour of this 2024 ZL1. Unfortunately, there's only so much we can do here in the halls of Huntington Place at Detroit uh, for the North America International Auto Show. But I can show you around the exterior and we can peek into the interior uh, just in a little bit and show you what's going on here. But this is the Camaro Collector's Edition, which features this black center stripe. You can see that starts on the hood and goes up over the roof up here. A very unique look on this black uh, paint job. It is a matte black. So if you remember the uh, uh, Cadillac CT4V Blackwing, in that Sebring IMSA edition, uh, one of 99 models. This is a very similar black, uh, flat, but metallic paint on this one. It gives it a very, very classy look against this mosaic black accents, both up front here on the splitter. And just look at this thing. This thing looks absolutely mean, like it could eat you standing alive. And uh, makes me a little fearful just standing here in front of it. This thing is very angry and very in your face. And uh, again, I'm just going to be sad to see this thing go. It is a very special vehicle to me. But coming up close, you can see we've got the Z01 badge to let you know you've got the most powerful engine and the flow tie to give that much more airflow to that 6.2 liter supercharged V8 under the hood. Now, unfortunately, I cannot pop the hood on this one. Like I said, we're in the halls of Huntington Place. Only so much we can get away with here with this Camaro, but 6.2 liter supercharged V8, 650 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque, just a rocket ship of an engine. You know that we recently tested the Cadillac Escalade V with its hand-built 6.2 liter supercharged. That thing just sounds amazing. Coming down to the wheels and tires, you can see we've got ZL1 branded red brake calipers back behind those wheels, but a very interesting look here on this ZL1. And nonetheless, really like this wheel design wrapped in these Eagle F1 tires and a very, very minimal sidewall on this one. And then for the 2024 model year, we get this special badge here on the side. I don't know how well you can see in this lighting, but just inside the R there of Camaro is a Panther. Because if you followed the history of the Camaro, when this vehicle was in production, which was happening before the Mustang was unveiled, yes, Chevrolet was working on a Camaro before the Mustang launched, uh, the internal code name was Panther. So we get a nod to that original Panther right there inside the R on Camaro on the side. Coming to the side of this, you can see this is a much bigger vehicle than those first generation Camaros. Again, you know, I owned a 2012. This is a large vehicle. There is no uh, doubt about that. It's built off of a uh, shared platform with those Cadillac models I referenced earlier, CT4 and CT5V, which means it is a very competent, capable chassis. And it, again, I am just absolutely sad to see this thing go. Coming around back here to the back, you see this large carbon fiber wing on the back uh, for additional rear downforce. 
And these oh, clear yeah. taillights, uh, really just kind of giving that monochromatic look all the way back here to the back. We get that mosaic black stripe that continues from the hood, from the roof, and all the way back here on the trunk lid. Very nice with those very large trumpeting rear exhausts. Very, very aggressive. I, I wish we could fire this one up for you, but uh, I think the whole haul uh, would be asking us exactly what's going on. We would turn all the heads inside Huntington Place here. Opening the door, it is a, what you would expect from the current iteration of Camaro, but just classed up for its final model year. So we've got leather, we've got suede, we've got the interior ambient lighting and all those red accents. I really like it. So here on the shoulder pad, we've got that uh, micro suede on the armrest, on the center panel here. We've got this interesting texture here around the ambient lighting, your automatic windows, really nice touch there. Uh, Two-person memory driver seat. So you get some luxuries here in this Camaro as well. Get the lighted door sill plates and then these uh, very aggressive Recaro bucket seats. Fortunately, I can't even hop in this one. Again, just talking to how special this particular vehicle is, uh, being uh, one of the last and having to go around and show the world what uh, Chevy is doing for the last model year of the Camaro. The steering wheel here is also wrapped in micro suede. Very nice look. And I like that we haven't gone all digital on the gauges. So we still get that kind of uh, 1960s look, dual uh, covered cowl uh, gauge cluster up front with your speedometer and your tack. And this one does have the six speed manual transmission, but you can get that really good quick shifting 10 speed as well. Again, just a classy updated version of the current uh, Camaro platform, current Camaro interior, and then pull on this lever here, fold these seats up to show you exactly how tight that back seat is. Again, it is a very large vehicle, but uh, the interior proportions are rather tight. You can see just how close uh, that seat back is over there on the passenger side to that rear seat. One last thing I do want to call out right here. Again, why we can't climb in this one, why we can't do much with it. One of 350 literally one of 350 to be made. And yes, we get that Panther there again on uh, the steering wheel. So again, very special model here. No real additional power or um, suspension tweaks to speak of, but we get this very special look paint and all that mosaic accents here on the 2024 last model year of the Chevy Camaro as we know it. Chevrolet has teased that this is not the end of the Camaro story. So if you want to see what the future holds for this brand, you know we'll be here to cover it. You can find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Everything is at GT Garage Talk, or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. Be sure and hit that subscribe button down below, ring the bell so you're notified when more videos from this show come out. And we've got a lot of content coming out for you later this month. But as for me, with the death of an icon here at the 2023 North America International Auto Show in Detroit, until next time.